Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everybody, Chris Perillo here, and I happen to ask my friends who run the official Microsoft Windows account over on Twitter, that is at Windows, uh, what the more commonly asked questions they receive happen to be, uh, that is questions fired at them by the rest of the people who happen to follow them on Twitter and asking them advice, and uh, that, uh, uh, I guess, liaison for the account, connecting me with the at Windows Gamer liaison, uh, helping PC gamers, and, and uh, he asked the other guy, said, well, what are the questions you get? And the other guy said, well, one of the questions we get is, how do I run something as an administrator? All right, well, I suppose this is a good question to answer, although not without a few caveats. If uh, a program was not designed to be run as an administrator, you shouldn't. Don't, don't give it elevated privileges, and it could then run amok and, and cause uh, general havoc uh, about your system. The reason not to run something as an administrator is because if you don't need to run an executable, a program in an administrative mode, giving it access to all these system resources, don't. Now, you may want to run a program as an administrator if it isn't giving you enough privileges. Privileges. Say you're running an installer and the software didn't install properly. Well, you may want to rerun that installer as an administrator. And there are many ways of running a, uh, a program as an administrator. Uh, one of the ways is by turning off UAC or user account control. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that because, again, you are exposing your system to potentially bad things. Uh, you could, of course, uh, open up the task manager uh, if you wanted to and then run a, uh, a program from there as an administrator. Or you could find the actual exe file, the executable file, right-click it and pull up its properties and uh, then tell it to run as administrator. Or you could simply just right-click a binary sitting inside of your Windows Explorer. And I'm going to do just that. I, I just opened up a, a random folder. This happens to be the Windows Live Messenger, which you would not want to run in administrative mode because it runs properly without needing to do that. Uh, to, to run a program at one point in time in administrative mode, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Actually, I just zoomed in the icons. Right click that executable file, so long as it sticks, and then right there, there's the option run as administrator. And there's that little warning telling you that, hey, you know, be careful about this because you know you open it because your system could be exposed. You don't know. If you don't know this binary and you're running in administrator mode, you're essentially saying, okay, program, do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. I'm, I'm going to pretend you're uh, your administrator. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, you want to destroy my system? Oh, it's fine. I gave you privileges. That's why you wouldn't necessarily want to run something as an administrator. Again, if you're running into problems with a software installer, a driver upgrade process, uh, a, a, a program in general, if it's not running properly, you could try running it, it, is, it, it, running it as an administrator so long as you know where that program came from. So if you download it from some random website thinking you were getting the right thing and it wasn't working fine, it may have tricked you into saying, oh, run as an administrator. Make sure you know what you're doing because if you don't, you're probably not watching this video. You're probably busy reinstalling Windows because you gave the wrong program access to your system. Be careful. Of course, if you think you know what you're doing, fine. I'm just telling you, that's how you do it. Just be careful. Got to throw those caveats in there. And I'm sure uh, the people who are behind the at Windows Gamer account on Twitter would say the exact same thing. Be careful. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out again because that's not all that interesting. And again, neither am I. You can follow the official Microsoft Windows account on Twitter. They are more interesting than me because they're constantly posting tips and tricks and sharing other uh, factoids about Windows with the rest of the community. At Windows on Twitter. I'm at Chris Perillo on Twitter. Chris at Perillo.com is my email address. Dress. Boy, I'm getting all choked up. Maybe I need to run as an administrator. Maybe not. Chris.Perillo.com is my blog. Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo is where you can join part of my community. And the rest of my community is in, in a chat room. We are geeking out 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.